it's hard to find a way to break into the Jewish community. Moisha House offered me an opportunity to not only break into that community, but help create it for others as well, so that it's a welcoming environment. I think what works about the Moisha House is that it's inherently organic, is that it's grassroots. It starts with people who want to live together and make community and extends from there. And so everyone who f wanders into it from wherever they come are finding something that is natural and that is exciting and that has momentum to it that's really real. But I think for me, given the freedom of, you know, what, what does my ideal Jewish community look like? What does, um, you know, what, what's an event that I would actually want to show up to? Those kinds of questions have enabled me to like really engage my creative side and also uh, you know, step up to the plate in certain situations and say like, hey, I'm gonna make sure that everyone here has a memorable experience. I'm gonna make sure that people who come through these doors feel welcome, feel like they're part of something bigger than just uh, you know, showing up to an event on a Friday night. It empowers people to do what they want to do and to fill their need in their community. And as a result, I think it builds a much stronger uh, and more genuine and more applicable community that, that I think will last a lot more long term. The apples and honey party that we had at our house, there were hundreds of people um, throughout our backyard, our living room, our kitchen, and I've just looked across all these faces of people I knew maybe only a week or two. And everybody was just enjoying themselves so much and so grateful to have this chance to all come together and celebrate the new year.